Hella shorty, hella find me, and she tryna do the most Got a bad little body, and she riding Kawasaki Baby, let me pull her, and I know I'm also riding with yo hello it's Povikas from editing visuals here and today i will show you how to make the dark color correction let's begin first thing you need to do is press ctrl alt y and that will make a new adjustment layer now you need to add s invert here you need to turn off the invert luma you need to go to scale lights and make it 1.46 make the offset darks minus 1.38 now you need to add curves put one point here and one point here drag the upper point up just a little bit and the down point put it down somewhere like this now add deep glow make the radius 700 Add Omino Diffusion. This is a pretty laggy effect, but it shouldn't be that bad right now. Go to color 1 and where it says width 1 and make it 6 and make width 2 to 2. Add grid. Make the size for height, width, and height sliders. Make width 3, height 5, order 1. And go to color and make it dark. And go to blending mode and make it hard light. Add mosaic. Make horizontal blocks 500 and vertical blocks 500. And check on the sharp color. Add as motion detect. Add signal. Change the signal strength to 60. Add CC vignette. Add Add a slicker, add sharpen, make the sharpen amount somewhere from 10 to 30, so I'll make it 20. And here we have our dark color correction. I also want to tell you that we have an editing visuals website, where we have top tier editing packs, which we use to make our videos and other edits. For example, in one of my favorite hacks, the Halloween hack, there are crazy effects and presets which you can just drag and drop on your clip. So for example, if I close this one out, I'll add a new adjustment layer, and if you just type Halloween effect, and from the pack, you can add, for example, Halloween effect 8, and you can transform your video so much. Another one that I really love is Halloween effect well, you could do so much. The link to our website is in the description. All right, let's go back to our dark color correction. Don't forget that you can always preset this. So if you go back to the layer and press on one of the effects and press Control A, it will select all of the effects and you can go to animation, save animation preset. And here you can call it whatever you want. I will call it dark CC. And if you were to delete this layer, then you could add another layer. All you need to do is type here dark CC and put it on and you will have it. And if you want to make it spicier on the transition, you can actually add another adjustment layer. You can cut it up a little bit. You can add CC vignette. It's also going to make it darker i personally make the amount 230 and the angle of view 56 now you see it's very dark and i also like to add s slicker make the amplitude 0 0.44 you can also keyframe the amount of cc vignette so at the middle it's like this amount and at the start it's like zero this will also give a really cool look another thing you can do with this color correction is you can press e on the layer and you can go to s invert and go to composite options and go to effect opacity keyframe it you can make the effect opacity zero i'm not gonna lie sometimes this does look cooler than the original one but sometimes you just doesn't work on a really dark clip this does look pretty cool and that's it for the dark color correction remember this color correction doesn't have to be the final look and you can keep adding more effects changing the settings or even deleting some of the effects all right it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya